Hey, so I am a student at Ringling College of Art and Design, and I just finished up my freshman year. When I applied to Ringling, I actually didn't really understand what it was going to be like because I looked for videos online and I could never find anyone explaining really what it was like going to school there. Basically, what I'm going to be telling you today is all about the academics and stuff. Since I'm a film student, it's not going to be exactly the same, really, unless you're in film. Freshman year, a lot of the classes for each major are the same. They just are like a little bit more tailored towards whatever you're deciding to do for your major. First semester, you're going to have some core kind of classes, and you probably wouldn't expect to do these classes for film. At least it seemed like most of the people didn't expect to have these classes. First, about drawing. Drawing was a really weird class, to me at least, because it wasn't drawing like as you would typically think of it, I guess. We did a little bit of figure drawing, but it was only like two class periods the whole semester, so it wasn't like a lot. We did a little bit of like still life kind of stuff, um, but most of what we did was actually not like that. So we did a lot of collages, which is something I didn't like. We did like a mask project, very mixed media I felt like most of the time. That class was pretty fun, it's just I didn't really like how collage based it was. And a lot of people that come into film at least aren't really expecting to take a drawing class because I feel like nobody thinks that drawing is really related to film. But with storyboarding and all these things that you're doing in pre-production, it helps a lot to be able to at least kind of draw so that you can put what you're thinking like on paper. 2D design slash color. Basically it's like a class on Photoshop. You start off just using black and white. You move into color later in the semester, so you're not just working black and white the whole time, which is nice. Most people go into this class never having used Photoshop before, I think. And so it's really great for you to learn about Photoshop because Photoshop is actually really helpful in a lot of different situations. I loved that class. I thought it was a really good class. It was probably my favorite one of the semester. Lens-based communication is basically like a photography class. I really didn't like that class because we ended up like not doing anything in the class most of the time. I thought we were gonna like go out and be able to take photos during the class, but we weren't. So we had to do all of- we had to take all of our photos like on our own time basically for homework instead of doing it in the class, which I felt like was a, was a really big waste of time because then we didn't do anything in the class. We went to on like a couple trips to take photos at different places. I didn't feel like I learned a lot because if you know really like anything about cameras or photography, you pretty much know most of the stuff that you learn in that class. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's just not the best, I guess. The last class that I'm going to talk about for first semester is your art history class, which is contemporary issues in film, fine arts, and photography. It's a really good class. We learned about like a lot of stuff that I didn't feel like really applied to me because we did learn about films and photography and fine arts, but most of what we were learning about, I felt, was photography and fine arts. It was a good class. I had a really, I really liked the teacher for that class, so it helped out definitely a lot. Most of it is contemporary, like I think between maybe like the 50s to today. Second semester is actually a lot different. First semester I felt like I didn't have that much work and I didn't like that because I had a lot of free time and I didn't really know what to do with it and we didn't actually do any film first semester which was so frustrating to me. Alright so you may have noticed that things have changed slightly because I am actually filming this second part of this about four months after I made the first part so I'll start with narrative time and identity. That class is really weird, <laughs> like, I don't know why, but it's just, it's a really strange class. It's just, like, I don't even know, a lot of the things that we did didn't even really seem that related to film or art in general. I mean, some of it was, but it was all about, like, writing stories and stuff, so it was basically a lot, like, a storytelling class, sort of. I don't know, it was just... I don't really have that much to say about it, honestly. It was just really kind of weird. 
Um, I didn't like that class very much. Our other liberal arts class is History of Film, which is actually a really great class because as filmmakers, we draw from all sorts of experiences and all of the other things that we've seen. But in film history, you learn a lot about that kind of stuff. And you write a couple of papers on certain films that you watch. And you learn about a lot of things that you might not have known about film before and what certain things mean in movies. Then you have 3D. I guess I'll go with 3D first. 3D is basically like a sculpting kind of class. It's not just sculpting, it's making 3D objects though. It's sort of related to like production design I would say or even costume design because we made like these big mask kind of things. We made like different little miniature kind of things that ties into more of production design and set design. So that class was really helpful for that kind of stuff because it was sort of like an introduction. I'm not gonna say it was like super related to film, but I definitely think it was a good class to help get your feet wet in certain things of that. Also, another class you have is 4D, which is actually a time-based class. So it is one of the first film, film classes that you'll have, I guess. It's more of an open class, so you get to do any kind of sort of time-based work that you want. You can do like more animated stuff like that. You can do like computer time-based pieces kind of. You work a lot with After Effects and Premiere, which is really fun. You can also just do film if you want to, if you want to be really story-driven. That's what I wanted to do personally, so I made a lot of more story-driven pieces for that class. So you do projects with just sound, you do projects with just video, and then you also do projects with both. And to get to the final class that's your, actually like your first real film class is cinematic storytelling. And cinematic storytelling is kind of a crazy class, but it's actually really fun. You get to pick a group that you work with, like your crew, the whole semester. Definitely pick someone that you like and that will come to your sets and that you trust <laughs> because it definitely helps you out a lot. Usually you get a group of five or six. Everyone in the group will make four films the whole semester. My group had six. We each made four films. So over the entire semester, I worked on like 24 different films. That class, you actually learn about like really basic sorts of things. You learn the basics of sound and recording sound. You get to like boom for the first time, or at least for the first time in a class. You learn your first things about lighting. You get to play in the um, soundstage during class a lot of the times. You get to test a lot of different things like the dolly. You get a lot to use a lot of the equipment. You know when your camera stops recording because the card's full and you just keep talking for like five minutes until you're done and then you walk over to it and it's like card full. The equipment's not that great in cinematic storytelling because it's just the freshman equipment. Anyway, you can make really cool stuff with it still even though if it's not really great equipment. You do like all the different jobs like you do sound, you do cinematography, you do a lot of different stuff. Um, for your own pieces you direct and edit and like a whole bunch of the other stuff but so it gets more and more open as you go which is really good because you get to sort of like be more creative and you get to do more of what you wanted to do like as you go further in the semester Cinematic storytelling it's a good class and then at the end of the year you have a freshman screening which is fun you kind of they pick like your best film they pick one of everyone's they pick the best one and then they screen it for whoever wants to come, which is cool. I like doing that. Uh, you get to see it on like the big screen and stuff. So it's kind of fun. So anyway, yeah, that's basically freshman year. You get more into film sophomore year, junior year, and senior year, obviously. You get more into your major. And I think that's kind of generally a thing for all the majors. I'm not entirely sure because I'm not exactly in any of the other majors. So anyway, that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions, leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, send me a message. You can do whatever. Um, just let me know and I'll answer it. If you have a idea for a video that you want me to make, let me know. I'll try to make a video of something if you want to see it. Going to art school is really fun, so 
if you really love art and it's really what you want to do, um, I would recommend it if you think college is for you because you meet a lot of really cool people and you get a lot of opportunities that you wouldn't if you weren't in college. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it, and I'll maybe see you later. Bye!